Swap backgrounds, swap outfits, create entirely new scenes. Rotate a product a full 180 degrees. Drop in a signboard. It even gets the shadows and reflection right. Add text, edit it precisely, add an object or remove it. Meet Quen, the insanely capable image editor. It's the world's best open source image editor. In a minute, I will share a plug and play run pod template that lets you run it in the cloud easily and at full capacity. I will also provide several other free usage options. What makes Quen special and genuinely groundbreaking is that it treats every edit as handling two problems at once. Understanding what the image means and preserving how it looks. It runs a dual path controller, feeding the input to a vision language model for semantics and to a VAE path for appearance so it can make big changes without wrecking the parts you want to keep. It handles novel view synthesis like 90, 180 degree rotation of objects like a pro. It does appearance safe edits, maintaining character consistency across generations. It is unusually good at precise text editing while keeping the original font, size and kerning. In fact, for this, it has crushed several benchmarks. On Gerrit Bench, Quen Image Edit beats everyone for text edits ahead of GPT Image 1 and above Flux. On the LM Marina Image Edit leaderboard, it's near the top and is the highest rated open weights editor. All right, so now let's talk about how to use it. The easiest path if you want to test it or make a few quick edits is you can use it on their official website. Click on image edit, upload your input image, write your prompt, wait a few seconds and you'll get the output image. Expect soft daily caps or throttle during load. It is great for quick safe tests, but you don't get higher resolution, batching, not safe for work prompts. The web has guardrails. Another option is to use it on Replicate. Just give it your prompt and input image. It is paid though. They charge you about $0.03 per output image. If you want its full potential, then run it yourself. You can spin it up locally on your machine, but you must have a good GPU and comfy UI setup. In case you don't have a good GPU, then you can run it on the cloud. I'll share a plug and play run pod template, launch a GPU and give you a quick demo so you can start using it quickly. Sign up using my RunPod template in the description. When you join via my RunPod template, you get a one-time random credit bonus from $5 to $500. Once you sign up, click on the template link in the description. Now here, we see a bunch of different GPUs and we are here to rent one. We can select A40, which offers the right balance of speed at its price. So two hours of usage will cost you less than a dollar and you can create hundreds of images in that much time. Each image takes about an average of 10 seconds. Give your pod a name. Under templates, you should see my template name, Comfy UI Quen Min. And you can see my Docker image, Arpit Khurana Comfy UI Run Bot Kuda. The image contains the setup for Comfy UI, which is basically the best open source tool for image and video. And inside Comfy UI, we will use Quen. If you click on edit template, you don't have to do anything here. This is just for understanding. You can see my starter command, which is basically pulling my startup.sh from my GitHub repo, which is pulling the required models for running Quen. You basically need these four models, which we are fetching from Hugging Face. Container and volume disk is set to 60 GB as these four models are about 31 GB. And then we also need some space for Comfy UI. The volume is mounted at slash workspace, allowing you to stop and restart models quickly without downloading them every time when you start your pod. This ensures your storage remains persistent. We have exposed port 8188 to run Comfy UI. Choose on-demand instance, or you may select spot instance if you are comfortable with interruptible availability for a less price. Click on deploy on demand. You'll see your GPU pod is created. Click on it. Now let it run for 10-15 minutes. It is downloading my CUDA image which has the comfy UI setup and the models required to run Quen. You can monitor the process in the logs. The initial load can take up to 20 minutes, though it usually completes in 10-15 to 15 minutes. After the initial setup, if you restart the pod later, it will take less than 5 minutes for you to get back up. Hosting the pod for a month will cost you less than under a dollar, so it's quite affordable. You can check telemetry for uptime to track time and data usage. When the volume usage reaches about 30 GB, it indicates that Comfy has fully booted. At this point, you will see HTTP service turning to ready under the connect port 8188. Click on it to proceed. Comfy UI has now opened. Close the template gallery and load the workflow from the left workflow folder. 
The workflow is provided by Quen. It was downloaded from their website and preloaded here for you. So it's convenient for you. Click on the workflow. We only need to change three settings here before using first. Unbypass the lightning model. This reduces the required steps from 20 with K-Sampler to just four, significantly decreasing image output time. And with the lightning model, we need to adjust the CFG to just one, which is recommended for the lightning model. Next, provide your input image and prompt. For example, I'm using this as an input image and my prompt is keep face identical, replace t-shirt with navy blazer plus white shirt, studio lighting. Then simply just click on run. The first run can take a minute or two, but subsequent runs will take around 10 to 15 seconds on an A40 GPU. And now you can see the output. So this is how you can start using Quen. Try it out and share your feedback in the comments. Let me know if there's anything specific you want to learn. I'll continue sharing the best in AI, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching.